Like most Americans and most Virginians, I was, I felt that, um, thank goodness, after all this time, you know, we got it right. Uh, the president, his security team, the intelligence and the military um, took us a long time, but uh, we got the guy and, and I think most of us felt some level of relief, uh, but also a sense of uh, that this isn't probably the end of the threat of terror. Uh, on a personal basis, I was thinking about the Claude Felter family from Mechanicsville, who, uh, when I was governor, we we uh, did the USS Cole uh, memorial license plate. Uh, remember, Mr. Claude Felter talked to me about his sons, who, who was killed on that early explosion, which was one of the first acts of Osama bin Laden, and hope that gives that family and some of the other families who lost loved ones a little bit of a little bit of sense of closure. There are reports that it was a Virginia Beach-based SEAL team that may have been responsible for this. So there must be a degree um, of Commonwealth well, pride there. I, right? I, I have not heard that, but I, I would uh, not be surprised at all. Uh, I think we have the world's best uh, in terms of SEAL teams based out of Virginia Beach. I've, I've seen those facilities, and uh, uh, these are real warriors who will do anything uh, to protect our country. And again, our hats off to them. The fact that they were able to execute this mission in a way without loss of American life and what appears to be uh, making sure the civilians were, were kept safe. Uh, it seems to be a lot of questions now of what happens next. Uh, does this mean the war on terror changes at all in your mind? You know, I, you know Ryan, I think that the jury's out on that. I think maybe you know, we've, we've been after Osama for so long that actually just taking a day or two and, and recognizing that this was a great accomplishment that it took us probably longer than any of us would have thought in the aftermath of 9-11. Um, but uh, as the president said, justice has been done. And my hope is that that will send a message to other potential terrorists out there uh, that America will not take these kind of acts uh, without striking back and striking back forcefully. One of the things the president said last night that struck me was that he, he pointed out that Osama bin Laden killed as many Muslims as anyone. Yeah. Do you think there's an opportunity here for Muslims and non-Muslims to try and maybe find common ground that wasn't there before the death of bin Laden? Well, I hope so. I mean, this is, I think, as President Obama has said, as President Bush has said, you know, this struggle is not against Muslims. This is against individuals who have no regard for rule of law, no regard for human life. Matter of fact, Osama bin Laden has killed countless thousand more Muslims than he did Westerners. Uh, you know, when you see some of the incidents that inspired activities across the whole Middle East, uh, this has been a struggle that he waged for many years before he struck America, uh, fateful day 10 years ago.